my YouTube is Sam from Team Sam Rex one year and today guys I'm coming at you with a ban list prediction video for the September 2017 ban list and today guys I'm joined by a special guest my boy Hanko Chow today and today we'll be discussing about the ban list and what we believe what we believe is going to be happening for the 2017 ban list for September and you know what uh, I don't know if you read the, 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 the article last time but they were talking about how they were going to have a ban list uh, you know mid-September or something like that uh, yeah, you know yeah, and it's going to be like no sooner than August or something yeah, yeah. like yeah. Something like that. Konami is never really consistent with giving us a specific ban list day uh, since, you know, you guys already know if you guys have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for a long time. TCG Konami, they're slacking real hard. Uh, whereas in the LCG, they already have two ban lists before ours, uh, which is still pretty sad. And you, know, and, you know, most of you guys, we're all tired of Zodiacs. We're all tired of Dryden. <laughs> we're all tired of Rat Pier. We're tired of that deck. That deck just needs to die. But uh, by the way, guys, this whole entire ban list is all up to personal preference. You guys can pick whatever you guys want. This video is opinion based. It's you know yeah, what I mean. Go, it's it's words. it's opinion based. It's what we believe should be on the list. Uh, you know, it's not right or it's not wrong. Okay, it's just an opinion. Okay, so if you guys have your own opinions, state it down below. Uh, we'll go on to you know discussing further on what we believe is gonna get hit to you know banned what's gonna get limited what's it get somehow limited and also what's gonna be unlimited for our next coming list and in the end of the video we'll be talking about also our wish list as well like yeah, oh yeah, on, yeah. on what we want to happen like you know yeah, what I mean or things that are like not not certain because there's no like no evidence to support our points to make it concrete yeah but yeah, yeah so, so so like, more like a wish list kind of thing yeah yeah you know I've been getting a lot of messages that you guys want to see about this video I decided to make this video and especially with Hanko Hanko is really knowledgeable in this game and I really appreciate uh, him actually coming out here. It's like 1 a.m. right now. So yeah, you're actually yeah. awake helping me make yeah. this video. So, bro, thanks so much, man. Props yeah. to you for helping. Yeah. So, first off, how does Konami decide a ban list? Like, Hanko, like, what's the ban list in your uh, opinion? Like, what's the point of the ban list? Well, uh, from my past experience, it's like the ban list is always hitting the cards that are quote unquote relevant or even, or cards that are being used mm -hmm. in the metagame, such as in, in the top decks. Mm -hmm. If the format, like, like right now, we're in a format where only three decks are topping, or even like four decks are topping, and we'll look at only YCS tops. And right now, there's like there's not too much to really talk about because of how there's only three decks. Exactly. And yeah. it's like back in the day too, there, yeah. there was three decks like Tether Knights, BAs, and Shadows. And whereas we have a triangle format again in this format with uh, True Draco, Zoos, and, and True Draco Zoo, and True Draco Zoo, and which is the three decks, and then potentially even like dinosaurs, in, dinosaurs, or Invoked, or ABC. Those decks are like up and coming, but they haven't really. Yeah, make any like too many splashes in the. But game. to be honest, like realistically, it's just one deck, like Zodiacs and True Draco. Maybe yeah. it, it give me it's just two decks, legit. Yeah, like True Draco Zoo or uh, or just pure Zodiac. Make the deck less consistent. Less basically. consistent, or yeah. reset the game so that every deck has a chance, right? Quote unquote. Yes, every deck has a chance. But like, uh, it's just. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> the balance is basically there to be, uh, help help balance out the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's basically it. and and that's why it's really important to have balance every like you know every quarter. Like I, I believe that every three, uh, three three or four months is really good to actually have balance. Yeah, if only we can go back to those kind of days. Yeah, like yeah. those days where like you know Konami would set like three months or like remember the, the six month period. Yeah, those days are good because we know when the balance is coming out. October first, boom, we know the balance. You know what I mean. So without further ado, let's reveal off what's gonna be banned. Boom, guys, no surprise. Hanko. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the stuff is really <laughs> yeah. obvious. So Zodiac Dryden. Yeah, yeah. Gone. Yeah, yeah. We need it gone. Yeah. That's that's the main problem in the deck. Uh, Dryden. Yeah, it's the main problem of the format. Everyone yes. everyone has an out. Everyone has a Dryden. And everybody has access to the Dryden. Yes. Which is very annoying. Yeah. Zodiac Brockbo. I think it's very versatile. Mm -hmm. Be able to search up any uh, Beast Warrior monster directly from the deck to hand is really broken. Yeah. Uh, one of the main reasons why uh, the Dino FTK actually exists. Or any FTK deck that searches the Mana Core or things like that with the Firewall Dragon mm -hmm. Loot. Bro true, true, true. Broad Bow is the main reason why. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, with the Dryden as well, be able to pop the Baby Sarasaurus to get into more searches. But Broad Bow is also another reason why the deck is just really, really powerful. Being able to, it's, it just creates more follow ups, like, like, like what you said before. How uh, you're able to just search any Zodiac monster directly from your deck to your hand. It just needs to be eliminated and it's generic. Yeah, it's very generic. Yeah, it yeah. only takes two level fours. Yes. So, so nah, nah, gone. Yeah. Z Z Z Zodiac Barrage, like, you know, obviously. It's, uh, it's like a free level four monster. Yeah, but because of those other cards that exist, it's like a free level four monster that also becomes an exceed monster. So Which, al which also gives you access to Dryden, which why Dryden yeah. needs to 
bad man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really annoying. Like a lot you, of these things are really obvious. Like, yeah, really obvious. So you know, ban off the bat, Hankel. Like, yeah. do you have any else you want to add? This is really no, nothing else. All right, guys. Yeah. Dryden, Broad Bowl, uh, Barrage. You're out, man. So that's pretty much it for the for the ban, which needs to be gone. All right, guys. Let's go off to the limited list. So we have a huge limited list right here. So first off, let's start talking about Zodiac Rep here and Zodiac K9. I see a lot of balance prediction videos. There's no Sh Shaq and I in the list. Like, why do you think, like, you know, like you were giving me opinion on why you think that Shaq and I should be hit? Um, uh, well, I mean, I, we, I don't know what number it should be hit too. Two, yeah. But, but like, rat obviously, like, it, it's just too, too easy to summon another rat. Mm. Especially with all these other Zodiac C monsters, like, Correct. like Hammer Tom, Bor uh, Wild Bow, and, uh, Tiger Mortar. Yes. So if we just limit it to one, then we'll never see a double rat play ever again. Correct. And then, um, Jackanine is a very interesting one because Jackanine is a one card uh, Mrs. Radiant. Yeah, yeah, it is a one card Mrs. Radiant if you have other Zodiacs in your graveyard. Yes, which is easily like you you normally summon Rat to do that. Right. So like, and uh, because Rat will be at one, then like is does Jackanine have to go to one? There's another question. It's like yeah, but it does take two level fours to make it. So yeah, I mean it's it's a questionable card, but there's other Zodiac like uh, like you can still play pure Zodiac. Yeah. And if Chakanine is the only one that gives you a plus or a benefit, then like any sort of board wire removal will clear like the combo of the deck or to play. So Chakanine being hit, like the only necessary reason would be that it's an instant Mrs. Radiant, and Mrs. Radiant floats into another card, so like you can float Ram Ram Mrs. Radiant or something like that. Correct. Or it's just. I don't know, Chak and I being at one is questionable. Alright guys, let's talk about the next card. We got Dronic Diagram and Masterpiece. Um, oh, Diagram. Oh, uh, Masterpiece. Yeah, well, we, like, come on, man. Like, yeah, I know, this card's Diagram. Diagram is legit slashable in almost every deck. Yeah, you, you, you pop any dead card in your hand and turn it into a real card that you search for, and Diagram's at three, and Terraforming's at three. So, like, you have seven copies of Masterpiece, or even, like, nine copies of Masterpiece, yes. or all these other broken Dragonic cards. Like True Kings and stuff. Correct, and also Hidden Dragon Diagram is also an indirect hit to dinosaurs as well, mm -hmm. because you know, uh, you know. Well, I believe that dinosaurs on it on its own, it's not really as like, powerful. Yeah, with before you, Diagram. Yes, it's not really as powerful as is with Diagram. It's very slow. Because it's, Lost World is is pretty fair because it's only on like it's like a Union Hanger. It's like yeah. on, only on a normal summon or a special summon. Correct. And it's correct. once per turn, so you have to like play a new one. Correct. But the thing about Diagram is that it's it's not once per turn. Yes. And that's what really makes it stupid. Yeah. And and, and this also slows down uh, True Draco as well because it, like if you think about it, the Masterpiece hit and also Di Diagram hit, uh, it's it doesn't entirely destroy the deck. Like you know what I mean, but it slows down to the deck to a point where it's it's beatable. Yeah. And masterpiece has always been a problem. Like it's 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 too powerful. Yeah. I it's like a towers. Yeah, you know towers I mean? has been a problem. Yeah. yeah. So masterpiece go to one is resource mandatory, and I believe that before it should get banned, I really think that it actually deserves to go to one first before they you know directly kill off the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know dark diagram and masterpiece, and here is an interesting one we actually both agree on is fossil dig mm -hmm. going to one rather than over raptor or baby source because talking about diagram. Diagram was the main cause of the dinosaur combo. Like mm -hmm. you need to pop the baby dinosaurs in hand. You know what I mean? You needed to do that. Yeah. And you know, you know, hitting the diagram to one makes the deck less consistent, mm -hmm. and you won't see that all the time anymore. Mm -hmm. Like you know, what I mean, like you know, the baby dinosaurs and diagram and things like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. I believe that, and also looking back uh, to last year's worlds where they had Teller Knights win, and we all thought that Deneb was gonna go to one or Altair was gonna go to one, but instead, what did they hit? Uh, did they hit Rota? I don't they hit Rota to one. They did. Oh. They, yeah, they hit Rota to one in the TCG balance. So right. I thought of it, you know, kind of like similar to the same thing. Okay. So right. I was like, you know what? Maybe they're not gonna hit anything specifically in dinosaurs because dinosaurs isn't as strong by itself. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Diagram, they're like another level. You know, what I mean? like it's like level hundred. You know, you know what I mean. So I think you know. Hitting the fossil dig, the generic search card is better off than hitting over raptor. It's true. Like hitting the fossil dig would make the deck less consistent. Yes. But consistent at what? Right. The deck, if it doesn't have diagram, then it doesn't have a, a another play besides normal summon ob raptor and maybe eventually get out. True. A conductor tyranno, like something like that. Like dinosaurs haven't been winning any tournaments. <laughs> yeah. So. There, there isn't a big reason to to hit, to hit, to hit, to hit dinosaurs at all. Yeah, but like but I'm just thinking are, about the future. Yes, the future. Yeah. Though, like if Zoo and True Draco are gone, dinosaurs are definitely be the best, the best deck, the, the next biggest deck. Even though it's not as consistent as the other two, yeah, it still wouldn't be as consistent. It's just that it, 
it, the only consistent factor would be fossil dig. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because instant danglong, instant uh like miscellaneous dang long. Stars. Okay, just dang long. Just yeah. say dang long. I gotta say dang long. Yeah, dang long is a problem. <laughs> right. So that's pretty much it. Our reason behind fossil dig. Let's go out to terraforming. And you had a good reason for terraforming. I did. For the new search, the new trap card you were talking about earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. So well, Hanko, you can explain to them just um, quickly why you think sure. terraforming. Um, well. Terraforming is to go to one. <laughs> it, it's going to one. Like, because the generic uh, search... Ge one card for field spells that are very powerful. There's, like, there's always field spells that are, that are very important to every deck. Yeah. Terraforming, though, is a very big call-out because not only does it hit the the, bi the biggest decks of the current format, but also hits the, the decks that people are trying to have fun with, like Zephras, Spirals, or Dinosaurs, or uh, Invoked, or like all these other decks, right? So Terraforming is a very interesting hit, but... If they hit it, like, uh, if, if the fan list comes out before Circuit Break, and the Circuit Break comes out maybe, like, one or two weeks after it, then the new trap card, uh, Metaverse, comes replace out. It. Yeah, and it, it essentially would replace it. It's a much slower version because it's a trap card, but it still is a terraforming, in yeah. a sense. So yeah. you guys don't know what Metaverse is. Metaverse is legit terraforming, but a trap card. Really. Yeah, you, you it. activate it or you place it to your hand. So it's pretty good, and not only that, but even if terraforming gets hit, there's still set, set rotation. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. So this is yeah, set rotation. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, does, it does. Yeah, terraforming. Even if it's at one, it's like there's still set rotation in metaverse. It'll Correct. Be fine. Yeah. All right, guys. So terraforming, Gofu. Uh, I think that the only reason why I think Gofu is gonna get hit is because uh, I, I think about reflecting back to the OCG ban list, but. They're not topping yet. Like like links aren't topping yet, and that's you know one of the things that yeah, you were telling me how he like Hanko thinks that Gofu's not get hit at all. It's uh, may maybe maybe or may maybe or maybe not. Yeah, like right now we don't see that much potential in that card because it, like it, from my experience of playing Gofu, Gofu is a really good card if you see it turn yeah. one or even like when you have an open board. Yeah. But it's just so many. Uh, negative things about Gofu when I play like but but eventually in the future when Gofu becomes an instant uh, Link 3 monster then it becomes a problem but and not only that but drawing decode like multiple copies of decode is bad drawing yes. decode when you already have a board is bad so yes. like there's a lot of problems with that card but definitely if you see it right away when you have no monsters on the board it's, it's, it's pretty it's pretty, pretty it's a plus two yeah yeah so it's pretty good instant rank uh, Link 3 and then Link 3s can go into Link 4s eventually and yeah it's, it's pretty dumb right. but I don't think it'll get hit as of now, we probably will wait until Link format, like the, the current format with Link monsters, yes. get more and more popular, then this will be a problem, but not right now. Yeah. Alright, so Gofu, uh, Witch of the Black Forest, no need to explain there. It's getting an errata. It is getting an errata. Yeah. It probably will, and I don't know how it will affect the metagame. I mean, it searches for... Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, yeah, Dark Arm Dragon. There's lots of other cards it searches for. You probably should research on what it can search for and have fun with that. Uh, anyway, the next and last card. last but not least, guys, Gateway of the Six. I be, I really believe that this card should come to three. You know what, guys? I preach on this card. I, lo I love Six Samurais for all my life. The reason why it's in here is because we're getting new Six Samurai supports in the future. And for Konami, if you smart enough, bro, you would unban Gateway so you can sell all these products. Trust me. Trust me, guys. Trust me, Konami. You're watching this video. Unban Gateway right now. Put it. Yo, why are you giving that look? Okay, we're unbanning Gateway right now. That's it. No questions asked. Next, let's go off to semi-limited list. Oh, oh, okay. oh, wait, wait, we're, we're not... Even, okay, so what I think about Gateway okay. right now is that Gateway... I have a, it's I have not a, that I broken. Have, I have really bad memories of Gateway, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. wait, the reason... Okay, I, I can... I, I know... Okay, sorry, explain it. I'm interrupting you. <laughs> I'm very defensive when it comes to Gateway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gateway, like, when you draw it, like, it, and you have, like... If you have, if you draw it well, along with like one or even two copies of the other cards that put Bushido counters, you have all these crazy combos that you can do. And if Gateway goes to more than one, like if it's at two, like it is right now in Japan, I think yeah. it's at two in Japan. It's at three in Japan, bro. Is that three in Japan? What, what's oh. happening in Japan? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Well, you know why? <laughs> because Ash Blossom exists. Because Ghost Soger exists. Because Twin Twister exists. You want me to name as many cards that kill Gateway? You kidding? I can't even keep naming, no bro, problem. Well, but even if, if they exist, I mean, they're all once per turn. It's like, it, what if what if they play like Magical Stone Excavation or something, or just think I can see it as at more than one ever again. But you know what? If Konami wants to, you know, support the new Six Samurai set, they probably will put Gateway to one. I can see that. So happening. pick up your Super Rare Gateways now. Trust me. Uh, all right, guys. So do it, guys. <laughs> guys, off to our semi-limited list. Uh, we got uh, one card, I think, card of the mind should. I really thought that card of mine should just be banned. Like, we should go to one. It should like, go to one. Yeah. It should go to one. Yeah. No, 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 honestly, we should put that 
kick back to one. Because yeah, yeah. But but the problem with card of demise is that if if you're grinding a, a demise deck, you can you can grind them turn one because they'll start with set floor demise. They have, they have seven cards, and then they'll go down to maybe six cards at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you pass, you can grind that because you're playing six cards and potentially one or two of your plays will go through. But then the problem with card of demise is that, yeah, is that draw, you draw, draw, deck, draw, 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 oh, draw three. Draw three. That's, 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 like, that's, oh, that's a problem. That's, that's, a that's pro what I hate. That's, what I, that's why it's on, on here. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I think that that part is really unbalanced. Yeah. It's, you know what's it's, not it's fair? It's probably the best top deck besides Pot of Desires. But Pot of Desires is only two cards. Demise, three cards. Or what yeah. if they even like demise into Desires, right? It's annoying. Like, oh, God. Four cards. The only annoying factor is you work hard to grind them, and suddenly they top that card of demise, and it's like, dang it! I wish I had resources to stop that demise, but I spent all my resources to grind their back row. But maybe I should use my resources better. <laughs> right. I don't know. It's 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 a weird thing. It's like, it just show, does it? Does it not? I I have no I have no opinion on demise yet, really, because I'll just wait until the list comes out. Yeah. But demise is a questionable card. Definitely. Questionable card. Yeah. All right, guys. Last but not least, artifact moral attack. Yeah. It's no. I mean, it could go to three, it's probably. Go to three probably. Yeah, there's, like, there's no problem. It's with a it. trade. It's a trade. Yeah, it's twenty one. It uh, Sanctum searches it. Um, you pop Sanctum, you're pretty silly. Yeah. <laughs> pop Sanctum game one. Don't pop Sanctum game two and three. You're blessed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here with our wish list. Let's start off with the ban. Mm, Maxi, hey, get out of here, bro. Get yo, come on. Yeah, and yeah. you know how many times you played World Chalice and you complained to me? Oh, uh, I lost because I got Maxi. No, no, I actually won because of Maxi. Oh, whatever, Cardians. Remember Cardians? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, but, I, but you know what I mean? But like, then I switched to Dino Zoo and then I, yes. I lose because they draw Maxi. Like, every I'm time like, when Hangul goes to YCS, I remember, like, each time he'll lose a round and I'll be like, how'd you lose? Oh, my opponent had Maxi. Like, there should never be a card in the game that's. That, should, that, 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 that makes you say that. Yeah. That makes you say that. You know what I mean? Like, there shouldn't be, like, like every time I, everyone goes, like, ah. Oh, I lost because like, my opponent had Maxi. Yeah. Like, it's, it's annoying. It's, it's a very annoying thing. Oh, Straddles. Questionable. Questionable. But Come back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Please. Free my Straddles. There you go. Excited Knight. Oh, it got reprinted in Battle Legends. Yeah. It's you it's never like know. Format, you link know, format. You can only have one X like XC monster. Unless so. you have Link monster, you blow up your own Link monsters. Is it Mighty? Is it Mighty? Uh, I don't know. Combo oh, Extender. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, Construct. Come on. I... Shadows, you know what? It's for the fans, you know. I know, but like, it, it's, it's, I don't know actually. Construct is pretty, yeah. pretty interesting. You, you, being able to dump any Shadow monster is pretty. And good. it's also yeah. on the wish list, like, or like, or we just don't know. Yeah, uh, it's either Baby Cerasaur, Denglong, or Overraptor. But that's why I put Fossil Day as a more reasonable in the official list. But these three cards are just questionable cards to yeah. actually put on on this list. So yeah. and like, like, we I'm, see what happened in Japan, right? Like, yes. In the, in the recent list, this is their second. Forbidden Limitless in their Link format, I believe. Yeah, so like we're not too into Link format yet, so like there's a lot of cards that we don't know exactly if it's going to be hit or not, in our opinions. Alright, and then we got uh, Dynamite. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Maybe you never know, this yeah. card might get hit because this card's broken. Like, we're, like, we're, like, like, what did you say about this card before? Uh, like, like, activating, like, so you, you tribute some for Dynamite. It's a good c way to cushion your opponent from having hand traps in your turn, turn yes. one or whatever. Yes. But, them activating a card and you get to activate dynamite gives you a cushion because it gives you true king's return so that way you get a protection a yeah, protection and on, if they activate another one you still have the return up then you get apocalypse with apocalypse is a disruption essentially so resolving dynamite more than once is really, it's really problematic yeah so problematic yeah so like it's like and it's so much easier to get out than than masterpiece yeah so like a lot of times true draco decks win because, because of dynamite like, exactly That's alone they, just yeah. alone semi semi eliminate you said trying to tribute yeah trying to tribute is a really fun card because it's it's like it's like one of the only cards that really punish your opponent for overextending, but it also punishes yourself. Yes, yeah, because you clear your own board, but at the same time, it's also like a combo mechanic, and you like destroy your own cards to benefit you. Mm. And it's like a really good card to to, to have fun with. Um, Book of Moon is kind of like the same thing, where it's a really fun card to play with, and it's also I I, be, I believe it creates more skillful play. Yeah, yeah, it that's has what, so many I mean. options with that card, yeah. and especially now in Link format, if we can Book of Moon like a, a, a extra deck monster, like we like we see Floodgate Trapple being really really popular now. Yes, and so flipping a monster face down, Book of Moon 
could be a very a much more powerful card if it's more than that, more than one. Okay. And like we put Ice Ball in there, like like I don't think it's gonna get hit, but Crystal Wing is Crystal Wing. It like, carries people. Yeah, turn one Crystal Wing is very like it, this card takes no skill to play. Legit, oh, is, Ice uh, Ball. You have a Crystal Wing. Yeah, beat my Crystal Wing. You know yeah, what I mean? turn. I, I got Crystal Wing turn one. It's like the Gofu uh, Gofu problem. Where yeah, is it? It's only good turn one. You got no monsters, but I mean. It's yeah. it's really rewarding when you yeah. get a crystal wing. So like so uh, what, what like so would Japan hit ice spell the two or mm -hmm. something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah. Two. So like like what other part of the engine can you hit? Like can you cr hit crystal wing the one or maybe like maybe ban crystal wing or yeah. something? Like but maybe hit, hitting ice spell the two is the right way because two will still play. It just makes it less consistent. Correct. That's all. Yeah. So there you go. That's it for our wish list for Sun Simon Limited. And let's go off to the unlimited quickly. So we got dark hole. I, I think it is. It, it could be a three. Yeah. No problem. Gateway. We already talked about this, but that's just me. <laughs> Gateway to three. Gateway to three, baby. And we also got Hornet Dragonfly. Yeah. Exactly. These cards pose no threat anymore. I don't think it poses a threat. Yeah. Like Ghost no Ogre. Ghost Ogre. And so, <laughs> no, 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 no. Baylor. I don't know. I don't know when the last time Baylor seen play. But uh, there's also a lot of cards that are uh, like indestructible by card effects. Yeah, yeah. True, true. They protect so, themselves. Yeah. So. It's they just, pulled no threat at all, I, I think. And last but not least, just for, for fun in there, bomb this crap hole. Yeah, it could go to three or something, because then it makes it that Rafflesia have more value in yeah. the game. It, like, making a Rafflesia with three bottomless in your deck or something, that would, yeah. that would be interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this video was uh, took quite quite a long time to make. It's uh, 1 a.m. something right now. Hanko needs to go to work tomorrow morning. Thank you so much, bro, for helping me make this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below on what you guys want to be hit on the forbidden list. And if you guys right now, I'm telling you, the ban list is going to drop. It's September, imminent. September 22nd. September 22nd, if I am That's absolutely correct. Okay, Illuminati confirmed, like for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not Illuminati though. I'm just, just saying. You know what I mean? September 22nd. Watch out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Smash the thumbs up button. Uh, we're almost at 100k. Subscribe, please. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is Sam from Team Sam. Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Boy, our graveyard. I'm in the boy, our graveyard. To my bad boy, yeah.